Hey guys, Ark here, bringing to you Chapter 1, Episode 8 of my Learning Night Elf series. Uh, on this episode, we're going to finally finish off uh, build layouts with the Night Elf versus Night Elf matchup. Um, this one's very interesting because there's really only one Night Elf Mirror matchup that I strictly build a base for. Um, essentially, all the other uh, strategies that the Elf could do against me, um, in my opinion, my base layout is pretty much meaningless. Um, the reason being is just that we're, we're pretty much going to be either mirroring compositions or I'm going to be on the aggressive um, for pretty much all of my strategies. Uh, so that's kind of the basis behind why. Uh, the one key uh, difference is if they're going to be aggressive early on in Tier 1. Um, so I, I tend to go archers. Um, sometimes I will go early hunts, but for the most part I go archers. Uh, which means that the only real, real aggression they can do against me is if they go mass hunts themselves or do some type of shenanigans like that. Um, so the base layout I'm going to show you guys is strictly um, what I've found to be helpful in dealing with huntresses. Um, and that's as far as I'm going to go with it. So if, if there's something in particular that you feel like you need to um, help with, um, feel free to post in the comments or something. Um, but that's why I'm covering just strictly this. So with that said, um, again, this is going to be the last one of the build layouts. Um, from here, we're going to uh, look into some early game uh, mechanics and, and or mechanics that, uh, for newer players that um, basically would be good to prioritize learning. So with that said, let's jump right in. Um, so the, one of the, you clear difference between some of the other games that I'm still tier one. I'm, for the most part, again, I'm trying to defend against mass hunts um, or just huntresses in general. So really it's only the early ba build layout, early base layout that particularly matters. Um, in this case, I, it's probably a little bit more open than I would like to have made it, but the general concept is the same. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have uh, semi-large pathways to move through with a decent amount of space around your tree to maneuver around. So the idea is that you basically are breaking up um, the, the hunt army so that maybe eight hunts or so you're you're forcing them to if they're going to come to your archers you're forcing them to be broken up into sections that you could wall off a little bit more with archers um, and you have these moon wells um, to give you some healing uh, if you have you really only want to uh, fight them right here if you have a tier two hero um, otherwise you're re really susceptible to actually losing your entire army um, the real benefit uh, um, comes on the early three or so hunts um, that they're trying to initially kill off some archers or damage your um, supply a little bit. Um, so you're going to have basically this moon well, that moon well, and this building right here. So you, you really have large openings here, here, and here um, that the hunts will have a lot of maneuverability around, but it also gives your archers maneuverability too. So you can run around your tree of life. Um, you can kite around moon wells. You, uh, you really want to kite around buildings as much as you can um, until you can get a large enough archers. And then that's the idea behind once you get these buildings up, they're forced into these positions if they want to get aggressive on you. And that's where the demon hunter basically cuts off one pathway and then your moon wells cut off the other. Um, and it gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, so that's the idea behind the base layout. And that's the only real thing that uh, I'm going to be defending against or, or strategizing um, my base layout in the mirror matchup. So with that said, we will call this episode complete um, and uh, look forward to the next episode where we're going to finally get into some actual game mechanics and, and a little bit more exciting things. So have a good night, everyone. Bye.